the, this is the port engine bay. Right, pull out the dipstick. And then we use that dipstick tube to suck the oil out. So we put the tube down the dipstick hole and then attach it to the vacuum chamber. the dipstick of course. These oil absorbent mats are great. They don't absorb water but they absorb oils including diesel. Okay, down there's the filter. And with everything, when the only excess for us is from above, it ain't easy to get to. Well, this certainly helps to loosen it. And of course I dropped it. I've smeared a little bit of oil on the seal. Uh, replaced and done up hand tight. Now we need to refill it and you need to be careful because it doesn't drain from the galleries that quickly so it's very easy to put too much in at once and overflow. This is a plastic soft drink bottle I found this is good, it stays in place and also does limit how much you can pour in at once. <laughs> so the manual will tell you how much oil to add. Uh, I can't remember, I just keep adding it until it appears on the dipstick. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's just below the full mark. Okay, repeat on this side, trying not to drop the filter. Right, didn't drop it. Also pays to check the sail drive oil, which is exactly the same as the engine oil. And that's fine. And to change it, if it's out of the water, you can undo the drain at the bottom of the sail drive otherwise you can stick your tube down through here and suck it out just like the engine as well as checking the sail drive oil it's also a good job to check the oversized fuel filters one's in use the other one's spare okay we've Drain that one, there's a bit of gubbins in the bottom, but there's no water. Right, I suppose we can close up now.